Welcome to Lettering Hope Anchors My Soul. Today, I just wanted to share with you a few verses um, just out of Hebrews, Hebrews 6. And um, this has just been so, uh, so encouraging to me in the last few years, but um, something that has been um, just constantly coming up in my heart. And Zuzu, actually, she is helping me today. We're sitting together. We have our paper. And so what I did is I have half sheet of paper and I've cut it in half and then I've folded it. We're going to do a little small card. Just fold it like this. Okay. So in verse, let's see, chapter six of Hebrews, verse 13, it says, when God made a promise to Abraham, so going all the way back to the beginning, God made a promise to Abraham. And then it says that he he was waiting patiently for that promise, Abraham was. And I think what a season right now that we are to be waiting patiently for a promise that he has given. And then verse 17, because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of his purpose, so that's the unchanging nature of his character, who he is, very clear to the heirs, that is us, of what was promised. He has confirmed it with an oath. And God did this so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, and we who have fled to take hold of the hope offered to us may be greatly encouraged. So we actually have to do something. We have to take hold of that hope. We have to take hold of it by daily being in our word, by daily going to him and saying, God, I can't handle this. And this morning, even I had to go to my closet and weep and just say, God, I can't do this. So verse 19, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain, the Holy of Holies, talking about Jesus, that he paid the price, that he is our high priest, redeemer, and our lamb. So today we're going to take our half sheet of paper. We're going to make a little card for somebody. I'm going to even open it like this so I can paint the back and the front at the same time. I have my my watercolors and Zuzu, my assistant. Zuzu, I'm thinking blues. What should, what do you think? Yeah, blue. Okay, blue, this was blue. Zuzu's idea to do this scripture. Right. This was yeah. You said anchor. You said anchors the other day. Oh okay. Um, and then well, I'm sorry. Then my brain's just not working. But we're gonna do this anchor, and I love this. I had a cousin who passed away a couple of years ago, and um. She was absolutely amazing and loved anchors, loved this verse, loved everything about anchors. And I think God gave us that. Yes. So I'm starting with a small brush and I'm just going to start with a teeny tiny circle about a third of the way down. And if you want to pencil this out first, you can. Teeny tiny circle, straight line down, very easy. And then we're going to make a cross right here because he is our hope and our anchor. Then this part is a little bit trickier. I'm just going to do, I'm going to make essentially a half circle right here on the bottom with two little triangles. Now to bring this down a little bit, I'm going to bring it down to a point. So I'm almost going to add a triangle here at the bottom. Now we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna add a little bit of detail. But what we're writing is a paraphrase. We're gonna write, hope anchors my soul. Okay, so we're gonna start with our calligraphy, our little um, cursive. And again, if you would like the letters that, um, I have a sheet that I posted a while back, um, since we've been doing this for a while, so if you would like that sheet of letters I've already posted, I would be happy to send it directly to you. If you just want to message me, I could send it to you. And if you have a little extra time, you could practice. You could do your own scriptures. Um, so what I'm doing now, I've done my, my cursive. So just write hope in this space. And I'm going to, on my downstroke, I'm going to make my line look thicker on my downstroke. We're going to come back and we are going to um, to highlight it just in a little bit. Hope anchors my soul. 
And I'm going to come with a teeny tiny brush, or you could use like um, the watercolor pencils that we've talked about. You could use one of those for this next part, but I'm going to use a teeny tiny brush and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, where's that little pencil? I'm going to draw one little line right here straight across that I'm going to erase and it's going to be a little, a line to, um, just to do, to follow for my letters. So anchors. I think it's so interesting that you only need the anchor, you know, when you're out to sea. You don't need it in the harbor. And, well, I'm not a sailor. You, you might need it in the harbor, but you really need it when you're out to sea and when the storm comes. And so I think some of us right now, we're, we're in a storm and we need that anchor. But if you feel like, oh, hey, I feel like I'm doing okay. I wonder if you, if God's asking you, like pushing out, pushing you out of the harbor to say, okay, what's next? How can I serve people? How can, what am I calling you to do out of your comfort zone where you're definitely going to need that anchor? Okay, anchors. I'm making sure I'm spelling it correctly. So essentially I'm following this line that I've made and then I'm following the anchor that I've made. Hope anchors. I'm going to do a lowercase r right here only because I'm running out of room. Anchors. So I did all uppercase except for one, one lowercase r, which just kind of more for fun as well. Adds a little bit, draws the eye over there. I'm going to erase my line and come back. And I'm going to write my soul. And this I'm going to do in my cursive. We got to go to the triplets teacher's house today and do a little parade. And so that was, that definitely lifted our spirits. Just seeing friends from school and being able to wave at them. That was so encouraging. Our my, the triplets teacher is amazing. Her name is Miss Willis. And all the teachers, all the teachers are amazing. I've decided my appreciation for teachers is now through the roof. So I'm going to come back around and I'll, again on all my down strokes, I'm just thickening those lines, making it look like I've used a calligraphy brush. Can I have a teeny tiny brush? Yeah, you can use this one. I'm almost done. Hope anchors my soul. Okay, and on the back, sorry baby, on the back, I'm gonna use this watercolor marker, watercolor pencil, and I'm gonna do another, oops, there's a wedding invitation. <laughs> I'm gonna do another teeny tiny little anchor back here. So again, a circle, a line down, across, half circle, little triangles on the ends, and then I'm going to thicken those lines with my watercolor pencil and bring another triangle down. So a tiny anchor? I'm gonna do a tiny anchor on the, on the bottom of, this is just like the back part where the little Hallmark logo would be. And then you can do this with a pen or a watercolor pencil, whatever you're wanting to work with. But we're gonna say made by, and then your name, Tanner, and then sprayed with Lysol, our tagline for this time. <laughs> so, and then we could say, we could come over here and just thicken our down strokes with our pen. I'd love to know who you're going to encourage, who you're going to remind that Jesus is our hope. Because I definitely don't feel anchored without him, that's for sure. I feel like God is going to use this time to draw people to himself and remind them that he is in full control.
Zuzu actually got to see one of her best friends. Zuzu, what was that like? Really nice. <laughs> she did. They got to talk while we were waiting in line for lunch. And they had the sweetest friendship. Her her friend is just so kind. And her friend's mom is an amazing photographer who took our pictures before the world shut down. And she delivered the prints and I'm over the moon about them. They look really good. They look really good. I'm so thankful for Katie. Okay, so here we have what we've done so far. And I'm going to use a tiny brush again. Let me see if I can find a tiny teeny tiny and I'm gonna come with my tiny brush and I'm gonna use a lighter color I'm gonna use a, a yellow I love yellow and blue my grandma growing up always loved yellow and blue so I'm gonna take that from her and we're gonna do like a little rope that's gonna come through here around here I'm gonna bring it all the way around I'm going to act like it's hooked. We actually had a large storm here last night, and it blew down a bunch of trees, and so Corey is out with the boys, and they're helping neighbors cut down trees and load them onto the back of trailers. I don't know how much help the boys are, <laughs> but I thought it was sweet that he was going to take them. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of pretending this rope is going back all the way around. So I'm just adding a little bit of color through the yellow rope that obviously would not normally be doing this. And then on the back of my painting as well, I'm gonna bring it down like the rope is coming down and hooking onto this anchor. And then I'm gonna come with a lighter blue and I'm going to do a little bit of shading on what I've already done. So I'm pretending like my sun is coming this way and I'm just hitting it where the sun would hit. It does not have to be perfect. It just offers a little bit more dimension to your letters. I absolutely love the scripture. But my cousin Molly, she wore anchors all the time and I bought her anchor things and anyway when she when she went home to be with Jesus it just this was the scripture that I clung to because it was something she loved and I thought I think God gave us that as a family that we could be encouraged and know like she loved Jesus and he was her anchor okay on the anchored I'm gonna just thicken those areas with that same light blue to offer a different color in there. And I'm wondering if we should put some starfish or things in here. What do you think, Zoo? Uh, where? Just around the ropes. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It might get a little busy, but let's see. We'll add a few little. Can you do them on the back? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. So we're going to add, let's see here. Let's do some coral. Why not? So all I'm doing really is just squiggles. And then I'm going to do a little starfish. If you wanted to do a wash around this, that would be pretty. Let's see if starfish are long, long and skinny. I'm gonna do a few of those. I'm gonna do another one in a lighter yellow to try to keep, I'm trying to keep the light yellow and blue on the front and then we're gonna get crazy wild with on the back. Okay, long skinny starfish. So essentially you're just doing five points out and then making it a little thicker at the bottom. So we'll do two little starfish legs over here, one over here, trying to fill in some of those gaps of color with little starfish legs. 
Okay. I'm going to do an orange starfish on the back. What else is in the sea? <laughs> My brain's not working. I feel like I'm running off half of a brain right now. When they make me do math for all the grades, my, my brain shuts down. Okay, here's some yellow coral. And yellow sand at the bottom. And then I'm gonna come in with a wash with my larger brush and my blue, my light blue, probably need to clean my water a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit dingy, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. So just like we do whenever we do our, um, our wash around our letters, I'm gonna try to get sort of around all these little things that I've made. It can go over the pen without making it bleed, so that's okay. I'm going to pull some of this color and just make sure it's nice and damp. Go all the way around. Pull that color all the way over here. And you know what? I think, I think it would look good just to take that color on around in between my anchored areas. <laughs> Do you not like that idea? No, I mean, I'm not even close to where Oh, you are. that's okay. We have time. Girl, we got nothing but time. Do you tell everybody what has been the best thing about this time at home and the hardest thing? Um, well, best thing was seeing Indy. Today, That's but yeah. The That's the only good thing. Except for Easter. Easter? Tell them what you got in your Easter basket. Um, I got a volleyball mm -hmm. and little Milano cookies. <gasps> My favorite. Maybe she'll share some with me. Um, and what else? I got... Narwhal things. Oh, yeah. Suzu narwhal loves hat. narwhals. I told her we would paint a narwhal today. Okay, so this is what we have. Hope anchors my soul. I would love to know who you're going to encourage with this. Send it in the mail to somebody to let, remind them that we still have hope. Whether we're lonely, sick, sad, or scared, um, I think this is a great way to remind somebody of that. Hope you have a good day.